How badly do you want to find love? Very, very badly. There's only one thing missing from my life, and that's the girl of my dreams more than anything. You know, I would love to be in love. I'd like to find someone that would be easy like breathing, because maybe that's what love is, and I'd want to spend my life with that person. I feel the urge to have someone who I can touch, who I can feel, who I can have by my side and whose breath I can listen to. Sometimes I'm proud that I'm single. I'm like, girl power! But then I'm like, oh, why am I single? I just want someone, I want to live with someone. The ultimate goal in my heart is to find a wife. I want to be appreciated from a girl, like, who cares about me and always helps me whenever I'm under the weather. It makes me feel lovesick. And I feel a profound sense of failure, like I'm all alone. Will I ever find love? Or am I just going to be alone for the rest of my life? For me, it does not seem possible that loving someone can stop, no matter what happens, which I think is a disadvantage because everyone out seems to be so good at moving on, but I am not. I'm a person who wants slow. I'm not there for fast, because most people that I've seen are there for fast. I want it to be very, very, very slow. I'm because I get scared. I have anxiety, and I want the relationship to go slow. So I am there for love, but slow love. You gotta take small steps. Yeah, and take your time. You can't rush it. When is it right to have a first kiss with someone? <sighs> I have, I have no notion of when it is right. Sometimes it can feel right, but feelings are deceitful, I suppose. Trying to decipher fondness and the likelihood of attraction, that is a very fun game. One thing that I wish to come true is like making the perfect move at the right time and kissing a girl. I would love to kiss someone. Do the kiss scene, and then the holding hands, and then maybe eventually the, the flower. <laughs> How would you describe your ideal partner? The person that I would love to have, someone who's, of course, adventurous, who's sweet and caring and understanding and honest, someone who won't lie or cheat or use me in, in a negative way, someone who's willing to give it all they've got and to show the person who they really are. Uh, I would love them to be smart, intelligent. I want them to be, I want them to be into environment and I want them to be into cats and, and dogs a bit, but more into cats. Being autistic, I need a lot of downtime to recharge. Um, so the time I have in the middle, I want I want someone who fits in and has their own life. Um, they can't need me. I'd like them to want me in their life, not need me in their life. I would just prefer like a girl with no tattoos and a girl who doesn't swear as much. I really don't like a, I don't like a grumpy woman. I think someone on the spectrum will inevitably be able to sympathise with my mind more and that can that can be good. As for someone who is neurotypical, maybe they would not be able to understand my mind as thoroughly, but then I would be a bit more mysterious to them and that can be exciting to think about. I want to know a person for their experiences and beliefs, not because they've got a certain type of anatomy. A physical appearance is probably the last thing I look at when thinking of a person to date. Fashion, hair, clothes, makeup, shoes, jewelry, cosmetics, glasses, none of those things matter. If a man wants to look for true beauty in a woman, the only place he'll find it is in a heart because a heart possesses a true beauty.